Hi, my name is Jack Boston Kepper, agronomy lead with Look and Grow. Hi, my name is Hope Soroka, agronomy research intern here at Look and Grow. Today we're standing in this V4 cornfield, and one thing that we're thinking about, probably the, the farmers are thinking about, are their stands. What are some of the things that are popping up here in the, these early stages of the corn? Yeah, Hope, while I'm out here looking uh, at my stand to make sure I have a good stand, I'm also going to be looking for some other products, okay? And the things that I'd be keying in on based on some of the early observations we've seen is sulfur deficiency. For the last several years, we've seen a lot of early season sulfur deficiencies. Driving over here today again, we're seeing sulfur deficiencies again. Starting to show up on some of the side hills and the tops of the hills with organic matter tends to be lower. The good news is, is if you haven't applied sulfur yet, you can fix that with a uh, sulfur source in your side dress application, ammonium thiosulfate, if it's 32%, of course. Um, maybe you've applied sulfur, you could consider applying a little bit more, right? So the bottom line is the good news is the good news is that could be correct. The other thing that we've been on a couple service calls related to would be uh, FOMA-safe and carryover uh, in corn. So we've seen some FOMA-safe in injury, herbicide carryover. We've also seen some ALS injury in corn, all right? And I speculated and talked about this in an earlier video that with the very dry fall we had and dry winter, that that could be an issue, and we are seeing some of that. I'm not saying it's widespread by any means, but I definitely would be kind of looking for that as I'm scouting fields. Um, the one thing that you could do about that, there's, there's not a lot you can do this year, but the thing you could think about going forward is selecting a different herbicide program that doesn't have those compounds in it that would tend to carry over as bad. So there are some things we can think about going forward to avoid those herbicide carryover issues. Jake, another thing that could be popping up here pretty quickly is seedling diseases. Will you tell our farmers a little bit more about that? Yep, absolutely, Hope. Right now, that's when you're going to really notice seedling diseases. You know, you might have plants that look sick or wilted. You might have plants that have a brown to red fungi kind of growing up the stem. Those are all signs of seedling diseases. Um, I, I don't expect we're going to see a lot of those this year, given the weather conditions we've had. But you can, particularly probably in wetter farms or wetter areas of farms. So that would be a good, this would be a great time to kind of look for people. Thank you, Jake.